Hi, I have an actual story time video for you. I don't really like to call these story times because I feel like I'm gonna be like a, a beauty vlogger or something. I even got my little ritualistic story time candle there. I'm trying to do the vibe for you. You feel the vibe? Because I'm trying to do the vibe for you. This is a weird story and something that I never expected would happen to me, but it did. And it shows how important the stuff I talk about on my channel is because we need to educate ourselves on mental health as well as other people in our lives, including our doctors. So I wanna tell you a little bit of a story that happened to me two years ago about a doctor not believing in anxiety. I know, right? A doctor not believing in anxiety. And what brought this up was I got an email from my doctor's office and they're saying, it's mental health month, prioritize your mental health. And I'm thinking, you never prioritized my mental health. Why are you sending me this email? <laughs> you know, I've had very, very good experiences with doctors in the past. This is only one doctor that I had. The good outweighs the bad. There's so many amazing doctors that helped me through my recovery and listened to me and understood what I was going through. And then there's this lady that I'm going to talk about because we all have those doctors that just don't work out. So it was two years ago and I was transitioning from my community college to my university. And like you know, on this channel, change is something that's really hard for me. If I have a lot of change, like I move or I change schools, it's pretty difficult for me because I don't know, it's just the way I am, I guess. The way my personality goes, I like to have routine. I like to have everything the same. And when change happens, I get a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression. And that's what was going on at this time in my life. I changed schools and I changed where I was living and it was really hard for me. It, the anxiety was getting so bad to the point where I couldn't leave my house. I didn't want to drive anywhere. And when I did drive, I would have panic attack. Where do I even start? A lot has changed in the last few months for me. I uh, basically moved out of my house. I'm in a new environment that's new to me and we all know that change causes a lot of anxiety for me. I'm starting a new school in a few days and uh, I'm very nervous about it because it's brand new. Um, I'm working the system by myself. I don't have any parents to help me. And I've just been, felt very, very alone. And I want to reach out to my friends more and I want to reach out to my family more, but I'm pretty far away now because I'm, I'm right next to my college. You guys might have remembered that part of my life. I was posting a lot about my anxieties and how I felt about them and how I cope with them. You guys went through that with me. So if you kind of remember what was going on. When I started feeling bad, when I started feeling like I needed to get help, I reached out to my doctor, made an appointment, went to the appointment and I brought someone with me because I don't like doctors. So I usually bring my family, a family member or my boyfriend or someone with me to the doctor. So I, I get there, I fill out all the paperwork. You know, like when you go to the doctor and they have this little questionnaire thing about why are you coming in today? I just wrote anxiety. That's all I could think about why I was coming in because I didn't know why I was feeling this way. So I go to, into my doctor. I've been with this woman for a good, I'm gonna say three years before this. And so I go in and I explain to her what I was feeling. I explained to her that I had a massive panic attack and I'm not doing well and I'm not leaving my house and I'm not the normal symptoms of anxiety, but the classic symptoms of anxiety. I was telling her list by list everything that was going on with me. She's sitting there and she's listening to me and she's shaking her head and then I I go, so how can you help me? Is there a therapist in my area that I can go to? Is there some medication I can go on? You know, I need a little bit of help here. And she looks at me straight in the face and she goes, I'm not gonna give you anything for your anxiety. And I said, okay, what can I do now? You know, I'm advocating for myself. What can I do then? She says, I think you just need to stop drinking caffeine. I think you're drinking a lot of caffeine and that's why you're getting these symptoms. I did not say anything about coffee that day. And she looks at me and she's like, I think you just need to not drink enough coffee. And I said, I think I need to go see a psychiatrist because I'm having a lot of anxiety and I can't leave my house. So can you refer me? She refused to refer me. And then before I left with nothing except for exercise and drink less coffee, she said, you're too young to have anxiety. So I'm not gonna give you anything for it. She said this to me. I was furious. I was so angry. I've never had a doctor, a professional tell me that I'm too young to have anxiety. What does that even mean? Children can have anxiety. Teenagers can have anxiety. It's not just a phase. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. I was 21 at the time. Very common for college students or anyone in this freaking planet to have anxiety and you're saying to me that you're not gonna give me anxiety medication because I'm too young for it. She didn't even explain herself. I got no help that day. Luckily, when I actually went to my college campus, we have free counseling services and I took advantage of that and I got the help I needed there. 
but I was I was so pissed. So this past semester, I've been very, very sick as well. We didn't know what it was. It was just one of those bugs that was going around. I was really tired all the time. I just did not feel like myself. I felt kind of dizzy all the time. It might've just been a bug going around, but I went back to my doctor as we do when we are sick. I explained to her what was going on, said I'm tired all the time. I just feel very dizzy, kind of out of it. I just didn't know why I was feeling this way and it was really troubling. And the first thing she says is, it's probably just your anxiety. She pulls the anxiety card when it's convenient for her. But the last time we talked about my anxiety, I was too old to have anxiety. But now, since I'm 23, yeah, super old, ready for that anxiety. I just don't understand some of these doctors. I just thought it was a really funny thing that I had to go through with my doctors. Obviously, I had so many amazing doctors and I might make a video on just my amazing doctor's experience with talking about my anxiety, my depression, because I've had a lot of people do amazing things for me. Just this woman needs to be edumacated. I did talk to her, and the last time I talked to her about the whole anxiety thing, I kinda laid down the law and I was like, anyone can have anxiety, no matter what age, no matter what gender, anyone can have it. And I really hope you do some research. I would love to know your experiences with doctors. What's been one bad experience you've had and how have you coped with it? Okay, rant over. I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.